Philo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notif. for care, Sean Bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Just a warning, just in case. I don't know what be going on in the, in the no video. I just got to put that out there. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We'll be posted five to ten times a week as series, movies, and Premier League highlights. Of course, it's all UK-based. Uh, don't forget, we do got Twitch.com. Usernames at the bottom of the screen, man. Catch a live stream. This is Inside Liverpool's Notorious Estates. The truth. You know that's the home away from home. Now I gotta check this one out, man. If it's if it's one I gotta check, it's this. Now talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Many people have said to me that Wendell has to make a video in Liverpool. And eventually, I've made it up here to a city that the last time I visited, maybe 15 years ago, was full of warm people, lots of banter, lots of crack, and just lots of smiles. But many people in the comments, they say that Liverpool's got some of the roughest estates in the country, riddled with crime, riddled with violent crime. So, I've made my way up to Liverpool to check out if it's really true or if these stories are false. But I've also very, very, very happy to introduce you to a friend of mine from Canada. This is Mr. Christmas List, who's currently on a little <laughs> sojourn passing through. Oh, didn't he do a video? You did a video? You would have... Either you or Backpacker Ben did a video with him before. Oh, he was handing out phones, I believe. For UK? Yes. Yeah, you've been in Dublin. Dublin. Now you're passing through the UK. And then on my way to London, before getting lost somewhere else in the world. Yeah, as you do. Yeah. Better than most, I would say. The only way to do it is to get lost. One-way tickets, uh, with no expectations, no agenda, just get lost. Yeah, I mean, guys, if you're interested in any way, in the raw interactions, in the way that I do it, but in much more intrepid and exotic locales than I do, mostly in the UK. Please check out Chris's channel, one of the most awesome travel channels in the game. Man, that's the best intro I've ever heard. Yeah. I'm honored and Comes I from the heart. Thank Comes you. from the heart. Thank you. Chris also has a family story because his- What's his name? Mr. Christmas? Blood basically comes from this wonderful city of Liverpool. Yeah, yeah? most definitely, 100%. Yeah. My, my grandparents and the generations prior are, and my mother, are from Liverpool. Yeah, Scousers, Liverpoolians. So, yeah, so my yeah. first time here, Yeah. Uh, since I was one years old, and that doesn't really count. It so doesn't count, It's no. my first time here. So what we're going to do, I've been telling Chris that my viewers and stories I've read say that some of these areas of Liverpool, the city and some of the estates, are some of the roughest estates in the UK, some of the most dangerous places, apparently riddled with crime. Let's see if that's really the case, you know. If anybody knows what a rough area is like, it's yeah. Chris who's filmed in places like Haiti, Afghanistan, Syria. I could go on. Somalia, Sudan. Name uh, them. <laughs> yeah, you name them. Uh, a long list. But I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. And more important, I'm excited to, to learn from you. Yeah, and see likewise, how you do mate. what you do. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing better than meeting up with like-minded creators yeah. that you've spoken to for a long time and that you respect. So, let's cut to it. Let's explore Liverpool in 2024 with Christmas List. Let's go. Let's get a contract on the go. Con he wants a contract already. Contract. Yeah. <laughs> Sign. Sign him. I spoke to the lawyer. I'm not so, so I'm trying, you know, it's, it's Sunday night, right? Fresh man an hour would use. He's doing his chance of 30 pounds. Well, what can you show us? 30 Ash, pounds? Yeah, I can't yeah, afford 30 I, pounds. Ah, 30 pounds will be waived. I don't have 30 pounds to make this video. 20. No. Nah. If you don't have 30, yeah. three. 20. 20? Oh, this is your contract. No, I'm not doing a contract, my friend. I just go up to... Yeah, no. I understand. I, 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 I applaud the hustle of this guy trying to get to $20, $30, but that's a no, buddy. I can just walk around freely and, and, <laughs> and figure it out. To people and talk to them. What I'm not. I'm not paying people for tours. So no. yeah, we're all good. Yeah, that's a no. I'm not paying. 
You know why? Why? I would have shown you something interesting. What will you, you tell me what you can, if I'm going to sign a contract, well, I, 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 what will you show me? I will show you. Yeah? You got a new friend. Yeah, you're going to tell me what you can show me. You can't, it's like me, Shit. you That's enough. Nah. <laughs> he tried. This is no, buddy. So, would you, would you b sign a contract with me if I said I'll give you a secret if you follow me around? You wouldn't, would you? Heroin. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. Heroin. I don't, what, what if Did bro just say heroin? No. Wait a minute. <laughs> I knew, but hold on. Let me hear. Cause that's, I swear that's what I just heard. You follow me around, you wouldn't, would you? Heroin? Yeah. Heroin? Yeah. That's definitely what he said. He said heroin. heroin. I don't, well, what are these secrets? If they're secrets, I'm not going to sign any contract. I think this is like, so you go and, and, and I thought uh, the video will be. Uh, what? I think it's interesting what you're following. Oh mate, I don't, I don't believe these secrets are going to be content worthy. Uh, I yeah. Alright, okay. right, my All friend. Right, listen, listen, watch this. Watch this. Go on. Is this it? Hello, Lily. If you were to pick the one. I promise you that might be one of the strangest interactions I've ever seen on here. That is strange. One most dangerous neighborhood in Liverpool, what, what area would you say that would be? The place where there's a, a chance for getting robbed, maybe shot or stabbed. There was areas basically that there used to be where you couldn't go or you wouldn't want to go. So, I mean myself, years back before COVID, I wouldn't go to Heighton or Heighton. I wouldn't go to Norris Green or stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That second one we heard of Norris Green. Because of the reputation or just because of because of actual personal experiences? Yeah, just personal experiences, like one of my friends, he got, he got chucked in on his screen. The famous, and Phil mate, the famous cop. So the cop is is the famous ground here at Liverpool. Right. So how does it feel? Let me ask you the question. I'm not a Liverpool fan. Okay. But this That's unfortunate because we're first in the Premier League. But I understand your allegiance lies somewhere else. But let me tell you where my allegiance lies. Just get comfortable about it. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to know what, what, what's really happening out here. Put my headphones back in. Ah, my bad window continue. This is like the iconic home of so many football stories, you know, one of the greatest football clubs in the world. So to stand here, yeah, it almost makes my hair stand up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm, you know, if Wolves, my team, play Liverpool, I hope we keep the shit out of them, you know? Well, let me, let me explain something to you that actually just happened. <laughs> Window! Woo! And that was not the case, buddy. Window, I know we cool, we homies. But that was not the case. That is actually not what, f very far from it. You know what I'm saying? Salute, though. Now out, we beat them 5-0. 5-0 um, is actually very hopeful. Wendell, let me talk to you. Come on now. <laughs> My bad, Wendell. But this is a part of the the football history and the legacy of my country. Liverpool fan? Well, United fan. United fan, yeah. Just... Get off the grounds, buddy. Why are you here? You're gonna whisper it. Yeah, you're gonna... She was about to say but something. Yeah, I love, to be honest, I have a... I'm not a Liverpool fan, it's okay, yeah. yeah all respect towards Liverpool and Klopp, what he has done, the legacy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, massive respect. You gonna check out Goodison, check out Everton as well? No. No one likes Everton. Oh. Yeah, no, don't waste your time. They're absolutely terrible. I don't dislike them. Are you a Liverpool fan? Yeah. You are now or you were back in Nigeria? Yeah. yeah. 
H how is life as a student oh, in very, Liverpool? Very, very fun. I'm having fun. Lots of fun, yeah. Do you feel safe like going out at night and stuff and like <laughs> going and partying at night, students? Yeah, yeah. we do a lot. <laughs> you do a lot of partying? Yeah. yeah. Too much partying? Yeah, yeah. too much. Okay, and okay. lots of spending, you know. You're 98? I am 98. My friend. My yeah. friend, yes, it's I, an honour to meet tomorrow. a gentleman of that vintage, sir, yeah. Yes. You must have seen so many changes in Liverpool over the years, yeah. Oh, I had, yeah. Yeah. What would you say to people about the spirit of Liverpool and the people of Liverpool and Liverpool as a city? What, Like, as a foreigner looking in, what are the people like? What's the city like? Well, you can, I think you can ask most of them a question. And if you want to know anywhere, do you point it out or walk way to the place? Yeah. I think most of the Liverpool people are good. Yeah. This bad, but I don't see any. Yeah. yeah. Like everywhere, there's bad everywhere. Yeah, I see. And I just see it as I see it. Yeah, yes. from the outside looking in, I see people with a great sense of humour. I see people I think with so. good banter. Yeah, you can speak. Looking in, I see people with a great sense of humour. I see people I think with so. good banter, yeah, you can speak full of life, honest people. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think when you go to London and you look at your kitty and you're like, you say, you want a sweet? We walked as if we just know it. I live for kids. Okay. So you think there's a good sense of community I in the estates so. and yeah, stuff? You, yeah, you got on the bus in Liverpool. Respect, sir, but I teach my daughter don't take no candy from nobody. So looking at anybody trying to give any kid sweets, that, that is the appropriate answer. The appropriate answer is no. <laughs> and keep walking. Person, and you can start a conversation yeah. on the journey. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. That's what we do, do, yeah. So uh, b before I came, yeah. there's people gave me this impression as well of certain areas of Liverpool that are dangerous. But, uh, not, it's not a bad name. I've been to Liverpool twice, but a long time ago. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm sceptical of this like dangerous reputation. Areas like Croxteth, Norris Green. Like, yeah. What no, do you think? It's like... Most things, it's in the middle of the night about 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Well, that's when the monsters come out anyway, Don't isn't it? So, so why shouldn't it be out? But now we know. Your birthday's yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, but I, told, I haven't told <laughs> now, them. Now right. the world knows. <laughs> <laughs> We're all coming. When, when, when's the party? Where's the party? Oh, that's the thing. What should yeah. I bring? He doesn't yeah. want a party, it sounds no, like. No party. <laughs> We're coming back tomorrow. Where's the party? <laughs> so tomorrow you turn 99. Or 98. 98. Well, I have a question that I think the whole world needs to know. Mm. As a man that's going to be 98 tomorrow, mm. what's the secret to happiness in life? Contentment, I say. And I'm a happy marriage. I, I was married for 64 years. And though I've died about five years ago, like, but as far as I'm concerned, it's your family, family. contentment, yeah. and a good family. Man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, everyone dies, like, don't they? So cool. I feel like that holds some true family and contentment. Yeah. You say, and I don't know how you live longer. It must be the genes, must it? Yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of genetic luck. Ninety-three. Okay, you got good genes in your family. I come from a big family of eleven, and uh, there's two, three of us left, two girls and uh, me, and we're all over ninety. So, I need some of your DNA. Maybe you've got some of that Liverpool DNA. Oh, I wish. Keep yeah. you going longer. I'm trying to live about 118, 119. Well, would I've be. made that for 120. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anybody makes... I ain't gonna lie, I'm good at a good 85, man. 80, 85 if I'm in shape, if I kept my body good, if I could still walk, if I could still got my mind, maybe longer than that. If, I'm not, if I could do this, what he doing at this age, walking around still, I'm cool. 90 me then, 99 me. But if I get to losing it at, the, at 80 or any time earlier, like, ah. It's 120 you will, sir. So, <laughs> yeah. So? yeah oh. My knee already hurt. You're looking great for your age, my yeah, friend. You really I are. Say, it's only for me like being broken. Yeah. Yeah. You know, be running so apart from that, you'd be well, you'd be running down the road. You'd be running away from us with our little <laughs> cameras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I walk with the stick and my son when he comes out. Take time, now, take time. Yeah. I said, don't cry. I've like, got my good stick. Yeah, like. Oh, you got well. You've definitely got more than me, my friend. Yeah. I say, yeah. Hey, me too, man. Hey, you. You got 99 years worth of it, don't you? I don't know how Chris is doing, no, but I'm you've full, got more I than me. Full head of hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah.
Oh, nice to meet you, my friend. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful name, welcome to Liverpool. Jack, Jack yeah, my name's yeah. Wendell. Nice okay. to meet you. Yeah. Chris, Chris from Canada. Okay, Chris. Nice oh, to Canada. Meet you, Jack. Yeah. All right. So we've just checked out. Two more years for Jack, and he gets a, a letter or a card from the king or whatever. Anfield, the famous home of Liverpool, just walked down the road through that council estate. People told me that Anfield was a rough area, <laughs> at least that part. I'd be quite happy to live there. Uh, you know, Jack was a scary individual. Oh, the scariest 98 year old I've ever met, mate. Yeah. In the middle of an alley. You're an Everton fan? Yeah, so, did you fun. move to this area? Oh my god, we still went to the Everton Fit Stadium? Area because you're an Everton fan? Yes, man. Yeah. I was there at the centre because of the match and I walk here as well. So really? I was there yesterday. So, you've got the whole match. Everton life? <laughs> yes. I hey, Siri. What's Everton's record? Everton hold the record for the most seasons in England's top tier Division 1 Premier League with 119 seasons out of 123 as of completion of the 2021 to 2022 season. The club Premier League standings. Here is the table for the English Premier League from the current season. If you would like, you can also ask me about a specific team. In first place, Liverpool has 15 points from six matches. Manchester City is second with 14 points in six matches. Arsenal is third with 14 points in six matches. Chelsea is... Everton is in 14th place. It looks like they'll have their fifth relegated season. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I watched the match yesterday when we were playing against uh, Crystal Palace. What oh. time music? We came back from 1 0. You know, we've always been losing before. You've had a bad but start to the season, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, kind of. Yeah. Well, at the same time, the players are doing their best and the coach is actually doing his own bit as well. What but Delusional fan. The man. Yeah. The players are doing their best. You're like you're like the football fan that every coach wants. No one would ever get fired if no. you were. Oh, <laughs> sometimes if you, you feel like you were the, um, they uh, the lose chairman. Yeah, sometimes you feel like they should. Lose a job, but at the same time, you look at it as guys, these guys are putting in effort. So, you have yeah. some Nigerian players that have actually played in Everton. Like yeah. Yakubu. Not enough, not enough effort. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yakubu. Is he a hero here? Yeah. Yeah, that's Yakuba. And we have one of my coach, Amokachi, is also Amokachi there. Is there. So those Daniel are... Amokachi, yes, you're taking me back, yes, yeah. Yes, you are... boys are older than you look. <laughs> 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 yes, we have them. They have their posts on your post. Joseph, your this goal. is the yeah. best players. So like we have Nigerian players actually. So when I think of like football fans in Nigeria, I think of Liverpool and Manchester United. Yeah, Arsenal, maybe Arsenal, Chelsea. Chelsea I don't Chelsea. think of Everton because they're not. They're not like as successful. Where will I meet the most characters? I like to meet the real everywhere. Everywhere. It looks like I've met three here. Yeah. So you've, you're in this pub, are you, the Lee Arms? We played kind of out the pub. We had a meeting this morning. Yeah. Cribbers meeting. Cribbers meeting. Yeah. Is the pub open now? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is it worth going in? Do you think they're friendly people in there? They'll talk to us. Have a pint. It's a man just on a couple of pound machine. Yeah. We'll speak to him. Are you a Liverpool fan? We all are. All are. Is this a Liverpool area? What about the reputation that this is a dangerous area, Kirkby, you know? Kirk, Kirkdale. 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 Right, okay. What how big is a fly? A fly? About this big, mate, yeah. Well, Sometimes much, they're that big. Well, that's how much dangerous it is. Take us to the worst place yeah. in Liverpool. Yes. And we'll, and then we know. And then we know. 20 years ago, this was really rough. Really, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is like, now it's all changed, you know, with this all this new estate like this new development. Before this was the roughest area, Bootle. Yeah. yeah, this is Bootle now, is it, yeah? Yeah, you're, you're in Bootle. We don't want to hear about the past, we want to hear about the current roughest area. Bootle. Yeah, so we walked out of Kirk, is it Kirkdale? Yeah, well, Kirkdale, Bootle is it's quite close. Bootle, yeah. I like that, Bootle. 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 My friend, I, I, I hate to be a bad passenger, but can you turn the music off completely? Okay. Yeah, we're not allowed to have music. All right, okay. You're, you. you're our tour guide, yeah. So, so like, I make videos all around the UK, okay. of all different areas, and many people say, go to Liverpool, you'll get your camera taken off you, there's no, this place, you'll no, get stabbed, you'll get shot. No, no, no. You know what, there's more chance of you having that robbed and getting stabbed. You gotta go to that one place that that one uh, live streamer was at, and he got, <laughs> he got harassed by them kids. Yep. But, uh, but, uh, but then I go to London, yeah. and I've been to some pretty sketchy areas in London, supposedly. Croydon, Tower uh, Hamlets. Tower Hamlets, no. Yeah, where do you think in London? 
uh, go down south, southwest London. Yeah, I was down in Croydon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Croydon, not Croydon, go to Brixton. Yeah, I did were. Brixton. Oh, okay. Brixton's fine, mate. In fact, really? I had the warmest welcome I've ever had making a video, yeah. and that was in Brixton from the Jamaican I mean, community. I, you know what people think is like, you know, Liverpool's really rough, it's not. Liverpool's one of the most safest cities. And friendly. Most friendliest city. Yeah. Why do you think people think that? Do you remember Ross Kemp on Gangs? Yep. And you know, that boy, uh, Reese Jones? Yeah. Who was shot? Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was like between the two gangs. It yeah. was like. R.I.P. Reese Jones. You know, but Reese Jones was just, you know, little boy, you know, he got caught up in the crossfire. And was that the crossfire between the Croxteth and Norris Green? Yeah. Like, yeah, the, yeah. 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 It, See, you see here now, with the, this is where Starby, this is not his green. So this is where Ross Kemp, I'm sure he came here. Right here? Yeah, so like this is where they came and, and everyone in Liverpool dismissed what he said. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So where do you think he got his information from? Obviously TV, isn't it? They're, they're going to make a few things up, isn't it, to get, you know, the view. I didn't know that. Y'all dismissed Rose Kemp's... Uh, take on gangs in Liverpool, huh? It was engaged and yep. they'll dramatize it a little bit. You know, they'll probably go up to some kids and say, Oh, can you wear like a bali? Here's some balaclavas, yeah, yeah. here's 50 quid. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, so yeah, like you said, like 50 quid. And they'll just make some nonsense, something like, Oh, yeah, you can't come around here, otherwise, you'll get shot yeah. or you'll get stabbed. You know, mate, you come around here and uh, walk out here like 11 o'clock. I don't know. It's always two sides to the coin, man. It depends who you ask. If you ask people who aren't involved, who never did anything bad, who stay out of trouble, who go to their nine to five and go home after, of course, of course, nothing. You you can ask that in Chicago. It's gonna be the same answer. Nothing, no, nothing good here. I be chilling. I'm cooling. But if you ask somebody who be outside and really be thugging. <laughs> or just just be outside trapping just be outside late at night be hanging with the boys you're gonna get a completely different answer that's every that's every neighborhood though it's always who you ask it's a personnel thing <coughs> no one buy an island if you keep your, if you keep yourself to yourself that's it when it comes See? to Halloween yeah it's a, it's a different thing because what happens at Halloween there's a oh, there's a night before the night of Halloween. It's called Mischief Night. <laughs> so, so all the kids are little shits for one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mischievous. Yeah. It, it's known it's as it's known as Mizzy Night. Mizzy Night. So that's yeah. the 30th of October. Yeah, just the night before that actual Halloween. So it's called Mizzy Night. Yeah. So people like kids will go around here to set bins on fire and like you know to see these dumpsters and stuff. They'll set them all they'll, on fire. Yeah, they, they'll go up in fire. You know, kids will just burn and stuff and yeah, for all sometimes but when we were kids it was like throwing eggs on the cars now yeah. it's upgraded now it's bricks jeez throw yeah, the yeah. bricks said this is the most dangerous neighborhood and already you look like a villain are you wanted by police wow <laughs> no, my question i have a question my quick question is is it safe to walk down this way yeah yeah all right that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. this right. way you said babe he, he said gangs up there i think yeah. this. there you go welcome to croxter i said croxter is the roughest part of Liverpool. No, it's not. But if I walk around with this camera, people yeah. will steal it. What's it like? Because I'm walking around. No, no, no one's going to steal that. Yeah. It's only a camera. Or at least try to. Yeah. yeah, I will. Nah, 20 years ago it was rough, it's not now. Everyone yeah. just turned to a pussy, you know? Really? <laughs> the I don't listen to any chance. So where's the roughest part of the neighbourhood that we can go visit? Right there. That's, that's right there, that's it, that green. So you're telling us right there, where that little yeah. child is? About here. So as bad as it gets. Yeah. As it gets, so it's all been going on. What about you? Are you scared to be in the neighborhood? There was a pulp there. There used to be a pulp there where them houses are. You're the most dangerous man in the neighborhood? Yeah. You're a scary looking guy. I'm worried about you. What happens if I were to take this from you now? <laughs> He'd take your camera, Chris. Yeah. Will you take it? I'll throw my gloves on and pull my gun out and shoot you. There you go, see? That would be good. He's a little badass kid. Content? Yeah. That could be the best content I could find all day. Let's give it a try. But see, what is that sign over there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is this? You just buy meatballs? Yes. Scouts them, bro. Scouts. Sick them. Chicken bites. But you yeah. just eat them like that or you warm them up first? Nah. So you just on like the that. corner eating that? Yeah. I need to get. They got them at 7 Eleven here. Chicken bites, but they didn't look like this. 
See, somebody send me something for... Give me a Liverpool care package, somebody. Dang! I, I know I got this in the Liverpool care package, and I got this, but I need another one. Y'all got some good snacks, low-key. Get some, I need to try. I need money. Go in, get some. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy you some. I'll treat you. Good, you got money? Man. Quid, let's yeah. get you some Scouse Bites. Fill yeah. you up on that. Buy yeah. Liverpool shot. Yeah, Scouse Bites. Good shot. Yeah. What can we find? What else can I get? What else can I get? Where are we? Add it in your wallet. Come can you sh on, show, you show me you these chicken bites? Let's get some. Yeah. Right there. there. Those are the secrets. Yeah. What else? What, what would I drink with that? What are you doing? Oh. Okay. Okay, I see a lot of eyes. Oh, you drink God. Red Bull. Now let me pick him a drink. You pick it. Now let me pick him a drink. Chicken bites. Yeah, I'll definitely drink. Ready, go. But you're nah. eating them cold like this? Pepsi, Costa, what's this? What's this? What's this whole row? Oh, okay. I see some. Y'all got some drinks I ain't never had, but don't nobody want to sit in there. Yeah, I'd want them warm, but no, yeah. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing it the traditional way. Picking pick the most uh, scouse lunchtime meal in Crockstead you could pick. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, I'm picking them as well. Nah, oh, Oasis, you get that everywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, yeah. One of these, yeah. A Rio, yeah? A Rio, yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's, a, it's like a fruit drink. Rio's good. Fizzy. Oh, what is this? Weedos, Shreddies, Weedabix, okay. Hey, send me some cereal, chocolate squares, what? Kellogg's Bran Flakes, what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be Raisin Bran? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. My friend, how many of these do you sell a day? Um, or he's the only one that buys it. How many does he buy a day? Hey, hey. You gotta let me hold them. Shout out the girls. You gotta look at it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Yes, let me no. hold them. They just don't steal it. I heard you guys steal around here. <laughs> nah, say oh, you know? I know they. What's these down here? These little chips at the bottom. See y'all, y'all gatekeeping it all. <laughs> I think we've been lied to. Yeah, people people sent us to Crockster to make a video. They said it's the worst part of Liverpool. People take your cameras off them, and the worst thing we got is bad vloggers over here. Yeah, bad vloggers, man. Bad vloggers. I wear crappy vloggers, you man. You know what? I'm gonna have a Rio as well. Last chance, everybody got something. Chris, I'm gonna have a Rio light though because this vlogging's making my uh, waistline expand. Is this a dangerous neighborhood? Um, Everyone's told us don't come here. We're gonna get robbed. This, and this man came all the way from Toronto. Oh no way! To see the most oh, dangerous you know what? I've just got family in staying with me who actually live in St. Jacob's, Waterloo. Yeah, very Toronto. close to an hour from my house. Oh really? You're gonna be on YouTube, by the way. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Crocs. She looks attractive. <laughs> this is um a little bit rough, isn't it? Is that why you bring protection with you? Yeah. So let me see. Look at, ma'am, can you look at the camera? I've got my killer dog, a yeah. Dog, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your your XL mini poodle. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I like the pea coat, that's what it is. <laughs> See ya. So what's it like keeping the shop in Crockster? He has security, look. Yeah. You have, a, you have a security, he's you have a muscle. He's Stop he's smiling, you're really bad at your job. He's the hardest man in here, all right? I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's the ones that smile the most, but have the hardest punch. Yeah. That was Socrates. So are we on YouTube tonight then? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. You're a star. Chris has a bigger turnover than me. It'll be weeks before you're on mine. Hey, listen, do you know when you're posting this, you're going to get like millions of views. Tomorrow you know, trust me. I think so now, yeah. I work quick. 374k. Uh, after this video, millions. Uh, after this video, back to 100k. Yeah. How many, look, what is Chris's channel? We've got a feral dog. Who's dog's that? What's it going to be You're going to have a... We don't know yet. We're going to make it as we go. My title's going to be, I found three criminals in the heart of this But let me ask you a question. Has anybody here been to jail before? Nah. Yeah, for what? Six years. Six years. You know, you're like 15 years old. Not even six years. I know, what do you mean? I'm only messing I have no. No, not yet? Don't get caught. Oh, you don't get caught. But what kind of crimes are committed here normally? He's chatting shit. He's a, he's a waste man. Yeah. Waste man. That's what you guys call each other, waste yeah. man. Waste man of the week. My friend, you have extra hands. Can you help nah. me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show Unpack the local delights. Do a little taste review for your family. Yeah. Don't even like them, Leo. I'm not even lying. I'm very interested in how these taste. Pause. No, you got to eat it. I want to make sure it's no, safe. No, Is it all pure, unprocessed meats? Is that what you're eating right now? No. no. He is 15. He do not care about processed meat. That boy gonna go walk. 37 miles tonight and then ride a bike 
for 40 afterwards. Come on, we were shared. I just picked them with the knife. Everybody eats. That's what I say. Everybody eats. You gonna have a meatball with us? No. No, why not? You're, you're in trouble. I can tell. I'm looking in his eyes. Yes. I'm worried about him. Let's meet some people. <laughs> Walk yeah. around. Right, come. No. You wanna meet some people? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? sure. Yeah. We're sure, yeah. That's why we're here. Like you, you have enough hands? I don't want to eat one of them, mate. Hey, do you want to do you can't come all the way. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Hey, no, I don't want, no, I have don't. I really got to eat one of these, Chris? Of course. Jesus Jesus hand in hand with And you're going to tell us how it tastes? It doesn't taste good. No. I've eaten worse, but it doesn't taste I can't good. eat that. <laughs> That's horrendous. <laughs> I can't eat that. It's that bad? It's break, it's, it's bite, chew, spit out bad? That shit. Hey, I did tell you I was vegan, didn't no I? Problem. That's hey, bad food, man. Hey, you deserve better hey, than that. What's your name? Look. Backflip. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that was impressive. <laughs> you know, I remember um, Ross Kemp came here some time ago, checking out the, the rivalry of gangs between yourself here, like, no, oh, sorry, not me, <laughs> like Crocky yeah. and uh, Norris Green. There were people reportedly sort of trying to get people to sort of embellish a little bit, shall we say, saying, no, just say this, just say this, and like you say, you get people who pretend and stuff, but on the whole, I've got no real problem. Yeah. Here. Oh, good, like I said. There's good and bad everywhere. Where I'm from, Bootle, good and bad there. Yeah. Place like Heighton, again, good and bad. My daughter, stepdaughter lives in Heighton with her fella. Good and bad there. I imagine if you go looking for tool, you'll probably find it eventually. Yeah. No, we're looking. <laughs> no, we're not finding it. Wait, you, 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 so I have a question for you. Go. Um, since Ross Kemp did it, how much would it cost? Hey, listen, when I come out there to Liverpool, listen. No, everybody need to come outside. Respectfully, please. <laughs> everybody come outside, bring the bikes. I don't care. <laughs> Look, we got to turn up. Respectfully, though, don't don't bring the bikes and bring the fun and leave your boss BS at home. But asked us for you to embellish a little bit and tell us how dangerous this <laughs> is. Uh, he wouldn't sell out his neighborhood not, for anything. I'm, I'm not, doesn't yeah, have a I'm, price. I'm not to buy for it. If, if I did, I've, you couldn't afford me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wait a sec. Look, look into the eyes of Ross Kemp standing here in front of you. What do you got to say to Ross Kemp? Ross Kemp? Yes. I don't know if he was involved in the embellishments, but apparently the producers or the people who apparently or allegedly worked for him. Can I tell you something? You're what? not the first person to tell us that in yep. the last hour? No, I'm surprised. The same story. Because yeah. so. we go for a drink and then all the lads have said, someone's just approached me asking, can I, all the young lads, or approached me lads saying, can you, he's been asked as they say this, or, oh, I know these guys, I'm involved, you know, but it's all nonsense. I just, so I'm not entirely blaming Ross Kemp because he's probably just, what? Well, that's disappointing to know. It's not, it's not far-fetched, though. I'm not surprised the mainstream media did that. He likes to think of himself as a video journalist. Yes. And what he did in Afghanistan with the squaddies and that was brilliant. Yes. Um, as an actor, he's probably... That fence has got less wood in it than him. Yeah. <laughs> Your, Chris is probably not aware of EastEnders, are you? No. I'll tell you about EastEnders when we finish <laughs> I'll, talking I'll to I'll this man. Brass camp. I'm <laughs> doing it the authentic way. <laughs> yeah. To Afghanistan and back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, as I say, there's good and bad. Anyway. You, you, you do get a problem here sometimes with illegal motorcyclists. I found the first nasty He's gonna man. come back. He yes. he can't not he can't not come back. You got his hood on now. <laughs> we got a, our first oh look look look. It broke down. Now I'm coming up. Watch. We're coming, we're coming. Gents, I'm trying to find a good Liverpool pub for my YouTube video, a good yeah. traditional pub. Brilliant. You look like the type of chaps that yeah. would know. Yeah, just see, see this one here, it's called Ranley's Savin. You go in there now. Just Proper here. traditional? Yeah, traditional. See it with the green thing on the side what, there? By Starbucks, where are we looking? Yeah, see where it's got Bottega? Yeah, yeah. See that girl walking in? Yeah. It's called Ranley's Savin. Full of characters? Full of characters, right, and there's a singer on at the minute. And okay. it's all full of proper Liverpool characters. Okay, that's what we want, mate, right, Appreciate it. Where am I from? Wolverhampton. This is Wolverhampton, I'm struggling. This is, uh, this is your moment. Oh, this is Show your yourself moment. to the world, yeah. Black hey, I'm shy. So what do you sing? Yeah. What would you like? I'm going to sing to you. It looks fun in here. See this one, okay. I like a bit of Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, no worry, darling. Rather than Celine. Yeah. Right. Something with a bit more energy in it. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do it for you now. And I'll do Kenny Rogers. Oh, you do Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Got a terrible name. It's pretty good. 
robbers robbers that's yeah. the thing that is the yeah. thing that's what i've been talking to so many people yeah. and like yeah. liverpool's got this reputation Classic, and you yeah. come here and it's the complete opposite i think because it's 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 a down and out place you know what i mean i don't mean down and out place i mean people are, are not not got money like london i figure when i go to the uk man i'm gonna do like at least one video like this in every town like a tour and talk to people but i it's obviously i'm gonna be like it's gonna be a little bit like I'm gonna have a tour guide though, so I'm not gonna be like out here like uh, like randomly like Wendell and uh like and then the other people that do it too like. But I'm gonna have a person that's gonna be showing me, so it might be a little embellished, not by me, but by the people that I'm going out with. Yeah, it's a working class town. So yeah. you'll get a lot of you'll get a lot of it. Job. Yeah. So we come out every Sunday, yeah. Yeah. and the amount of people like yourselves, we call them out of towners. Yeah. You know, and that's fair the, enough. The, 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 they're asking you, where's such and such a pub? Oh, we're loving it. Yeah, we come here every couple of weeks or every every week. You know, I'm here for a couple of days. So we love the, the scouts. So you're so friendly. And, you know. yeah, yeah. I watched the programme this week on the telly. It's about, about riots in Kirby. I seen that. You know, about the Sweet Soul Cell. And they're saying the far right and all this. They're not far right. Hey, it's just, there's, you got just got migrants yeah. getting put up in four star hotels and people haven't got a penny, you know. Yeah. And you're cutting the pensioners' the eating allowance. Cut the cut the eating allowance off in the old town. <laughs> you know, they, they, these pensioners have paid tax all their lives. And well, that's what they're doing. They cutting pensioners' eating allowance for this. They're not him. Um, you know, they paid tax all their lives. Ooh, now they're getting their eating allowance took off them. These people who have come in and listen, I'm not racist, but they're illegal immigrants. Once you enter a country and you don't know who you are, you should be some psychopath from abroad. Just went, oh, I'll get a little boat and go over here. Then I get put up in the hotel, I can do what I like. That's that's why the people in Kirby protested over that. Nothing to do with, you know, far right and all that. There's a friend of ours going to prison, hasn't it? It's what? It was, it was quite disturbing how quickly they got the people into prison. He was there protesting, he got three years. He's, he's never been he's in trouble in his life. He's a lovely fella, yeah. man. This is how it started. A girl who was um, 15 got approached of an asylum seeker who was 25. And he wants to, he wants to, you know, the girl's phone number, and she said, "I'm 15." You know that doesn't happen. Yeah. Where it happens in their countries, so they think it's all right to do that over here. It's not all right to do it. That's how the protest originally started. Yeah. And why do you think it was Kirby in particular? Do you, do you think we're all in the Swiss hotel? That's a big hotel in Kirby. Is that a hotel there that's yeah. housing yeah. all these migrants? Yeah. yeah. And, and they're all warm. They're all warm in the yeah. winter. They'll all be warm. But the pensioners won't be. I went, like last week, I said to a guy in Wolverhampton, I was having exactly the same conversation as I'm having now with you. I said, I just think it's frustrating that these days to be concerned about old people from your community and people that were born here makes you apparently far right. Yeah. I just think that's They're not frustrating. Right. That's, what yeah. that's what I'm trying to get at. But when you sit on the far left, apparently far right. Yeah. I just think that's. They're not frustrating. Right. That's what yeah. I'm trying to get at. But when you sit on the far the left, far everything right. looks right, right. from the left, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. The country, the old country's fucked, to be honest. That's in my opinion. Hey, you've got to stop immigration trouble. Here, hey, yeah. yeah. fabulous. Fabulous. What are you selling here? Vanish. I don't need vanish, mate. No. No, I'm just making a video, yeah. Oh, you walked up to me, though. I didn't walk up to you. It's okay, you came over to me. People told me. Trying to sell OxyClean, I get it. Each one isn't. When I came to Liverpool, that there were dangerous areas, and that, oh, no. like, that people would steal my camera. I've, no. been, I've been to Croxteth and Norris Green, and I've been to Anfield, and and the people have been really welcoming. Yeah, do you oh, think yeah, it's still a safe place? Yeah, yeah, fabulous. Chris, we've scoured Liverpool. Yes. Looking for these so-called dangerous areas, these these dangerous estates. Yes. What are your thoughts? I'll say we witnessed nothing shady at no, all. No. Um, everybody's been so kind. Even even the homeless, which are sometimes aggressive, want to give me money. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, I mean, yeah, one guy did, yeah. How often does that happen? Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's only day one. Um, you got a few I, more days in Liverpool, yeah? Yeah, I'd have to pull up the stats to see how dangerous it actually is. But 
you and I, we encounter no danger. Yeah, I think I think the main thing is like we we visited a quite notorious area, particularly Croxteth, Norris Green, and we found that maybe those problems are a decade or two ago. Or so maybe it's Sunday, and we just didn't come across the right character. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday, it's a quieter day. That's but right. certainly, you you would think walking around with a camera, pointing in people's faces. It See, I'm popping out Friday, 7 p.m. Generally brings out, if, if someone's going to kick off, yeah. a surefire way of bringing it out of them is to shove a camera in their face. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, one of the more hospitable cities in terms of interviews and things like that. For sure. Liverpool is a city full of nice people. Full of a community vibe, U UNWA, you'll never walk alone, I love Liverpool. Okay, yeah. so you're here for a few more days. Yes, I think. First city to accept me. We're going to properly get to the bottom of Liverpool. Let's see. And how's it felt to... Yeah, it feels good to come to, home. Yeah, to visit, Weird, to visit no? where your blood comes from. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, love it. I want to do it for years, I feel good. Yes, yeah, so, and for very valid reasons, some of the most authentic, genuine, raw, real, and like thought-provoking human interactions that you can find in the travel niche. So folks, thanks to Chris. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you to your audience, thank you. And thanks to the people of Liverpool for being a good laugh and good people to recommend their city for my viewers as a place that's probably not as dangerous as people say. Until next time. Yeah, TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, let's continue it. W showing for window, y'all showed him a good time, man. I don't know if they're still there, but definitely not because Wolverhampton played Liverpool already and it didn't look good, so.